Hi there, and welcome to the workshop. I'm Rodolf from Temco Pedals and Amplifiers, and you've been listening to the Gazelle Tube Preamp. People have been asking for it apparently for a long time, but couldn't find anything except the older units online. So I decided to build my own, making it more reliable and in a compact format. So that's why it's a pedal there. In fact, it's based off an old original unit from the 80s, uh, which was in a 19 inches rack format, not the easiest to carry on when you're on tall. So this pillow features two channels with gain and volume control, a master output volume, and a three bond EQ which is shared by both channels. Like the original unit, it's also having the same switches options, so you have a, basically two boosts acting on the lead channel, and the other one is acting on both channels. They're already there to help you shape your sound and play a bit more solo sometimes. Now, this unit was made famous by artists like Taemin Pala. Uh, if you still want to find an original unit, you could find one on Reverb. They do pop up from time to time for about 2 grand, something like this. This unit is cheaper but also more robust. The original one didn't sell very well back then because of reliability issues. Uh, they used to make even amps with it. And yeah, you could definitely find the same tone as in Lodrism, for example. However, I don't think this preamp is only for Tame Impala fans, it's actually much more versatile. In fact, the bass guitars you've been hearing are directly recorded up to my computer through this pedal. It's also used either DI'd for the Tame Impala tones or directly through my 50 watt power amp yeah, for the intro tune, for example. And it really sounds like it could do everything from the clean, clear sound to Vox AC30 distortion and up to high gain maybe not metal, but heavy rock tones from the 80s or 90s. This pedal is really versatile in that sense. Also, the clean channel is really interactive. By playing the EQ and the clean, you'll get either Fender clean or Vox cleans, for example. But just a rough idea of how it sounds, you could do everything in between, or Jazia, fuller tones, if you prefer. The lead channel is heavily mid-focused, that's okay. I, I, I'm not really into that, but it still sounds really good. It feels like it's already pushed by a tube screamer pedal, for example. If you think the tone is a bit too compressed on the lead channel, you could disengage the internal switch and it will give more open sound. Now let's listen to it in a different combination. <laughs>
Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm waiting for some parts, but if you want to pre-order one, just drop me a message. I'm on Facebook, YouTube obviously, and also Instagram. Also, you'll find everything you need in the description, and if you want to leave a comment below, that will be, well, read first, and maybe answered if it needs to. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to share it with your friend and subscribe.